Hello everyone, welcome to 5th git commands tutorial. In this tutorial we will talk about merge and what is the concept of merge and what are the options for merging and how do we uh, do the actual merge. So if I want to show in more graphical way uh, what is merge, uh, we talked about branches and if you imagine this is a branch, we do our work on this branch and at the end we want to have this branch to be merged to the actual uh, master so everyone can see it. Uh, this is something that we do local and then at the end we want to merge it uh, to the develop. Sometimes we want to keep all of the commits like these three blue commits we, uh, all of the commits are just shown by blue circle uh, but sometimes we don't care about the commits and we just want it to be single and at the end of the uh, when we finish we can just add it in a single commit so if we just want to uh, keep the work right like this like these three blue dots um, and three commits to be added at the end of the uh, master uh, we can just do git uh, merge and then develop if, if we just call this branch as a develop branch or whatever name that we added this is just a um, name that I picked but if we want to have all three commits uh, into a single commit we can just do just git merge develop dash dash no f I'll show it in the action as well but these are the two different way that we can merge our stuff first we want to uh, keep the history uh, of these commits uh, and then have them in the single commit that is for no ff it means that no fast forward but if we want to add these three commits at the end we don't have the visual here but you can imagine that these three dots are becoming at the end of this line we can just simply do git merge develop i'll show it at uh, the time that we are sending the command and adding the commands and you'll see the differences so. okay there are two types of merge we will learn in this tutorial and the first one is basically this gif image it's when we just do git merge and without any parameters and as you can see in this um, image it adds all of the commits that we have at the end of the commits so if we have some feature branch uh, some custom branch and we have some commits on it and then we do git merge it adds all of the commits at the end of the master commit but the other type that we will use, and I will show you, will add a parameter to avoid fast forward. And then it adds a new commit message or new commit. Uh, and it basically it adds all of these commits into a single commit. And we can add a new commit message for this merge. This is helpful when we want to keep track of the history of the merge. So let's see how we can add these commits and how it works. Okay, I have created a develop branch uh, for this repository. It was on a main branch, but I switched to develop branch. And now I will make some changes on this develop branch. And I would like to then merge develop branch into the main branch. So I have some changes on the readme file. So I can commit these changes. Git commit. I first I have to add and then git commit if you are not familiar with these commands go back and watch the previous tutorials commit dash m and we can say add um, part 5 of tutorial it's the commit message that we have and now i can just git push and it adds it to the uh, develop branch now I am aware of all of the changes that I made for uh, develop branch I, I want to add one more change this is there was only one commit I want to make another commit uh, I see that maybe I need to add some uh, maybe a spacing here uh, yeah one one more space here it was a very 
simple change that just to show you that uh, there are two commits on this branch so I'll just add this new line I basically added a new line to my readme file uh, I would just say git commit message this time the commit message will be clean up or add new line basically I added a new line and now I do git push again so now I pushed it let me clear the screen uh, I pushed it now I want to merge this develop branch into the main branch that I had so first I have to switch to that branch git check out main so I switch to the main branch so now I want to merge this develop into the main so the command for this merge is very simple it says git merge develop and it merged it for me so now I can push these changes to the main branch so if I go back before pushing if I go to the main branch and looking at the readme file I don't have this tutorial part 5 so this is the part that I added because I have not pushed it yet so but as soon as I git push and I go back and check I'll see the part 5 is also added so now I can go and check the history of this file and see the commits so let's go see the commits these are the two commits that I just made it says add part 5 of tutorial add new line these are the two commits so that's how you can merge one branch to another okay now again I'm on develop branch and I made some changes I added basically this line and uh, so git shows some changes this time I want to merge with a parameter and I will explain what is this parameter later so for example I would say git add and I add this new changes that I have the git commit dash m add a command for for readme file readme file so this is one commit and I would like to make another change uh, this one I would make just git merge for this line this is another change. I just, I'm just trying to add one more change uh, to show you. Uh, there are two commits for this branch again. So git merge and this time I would say dash dash no f. I'll talk about this parameter as well. But yeah, these are two changes and I will add again to the git. Git add the new line git commit dash m this one uh, add command with read me file and now I want to git push so I push these two changes let me clear the screen I push these changes uh, to develop branch now I want to go back to the main branch and merge develop into the main so I get check out to get check out main so I switch to main branch and now I want to merge develop into main so I would say git merge develop last time we did git merge develop but I would like to add a parameter here it says no 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 dash ff it means that no fast forward and I will talk about what it means so when I hit enter it gives me a place to add a commit message basically in a previous 
uh, merge it didn't ask anything because it basically uh, added two commits uh, at the end of the uh, history of the git but this time when you put no ff it means that uh, add a new commit uh, after the commits that you already have this is this is good when you want to keep the track of the history of git for example if if you don't add this don't no ff parameter and you look at the history of git you don't see the merge uh, whenever a merge happens on your branch so uh, in order to modify this i would just oops uh, so yeah you can use the arrow key to go up and down but you cannot type you see if i start typing it doesn't work so i put s and that's why it started typing so you can add your commit message here by tapping s first and then I hit enter and I can add my commit message here and say uh, merged develop to master and then I hit escape and then colon w q and then hit enter and then I, if I put git push and this time I go back and look at the history of the git you will see a new commit uh, this is this is the merge commit and these are the two commits that we already had and we, if we compare it with the previous merge it was only these two commits it didn't add a merge commit but these two added first and then the merge commit added so as I said it's it's a little bit better for keeping the history of git because you know that something has merged uh, in order to see something more visual I use uh, bitbucket and I use for example these two if you can see that uh, with git push only if I go a little bit bigger here and show you what exactly yeah if you look at these two I merge these two into the uh, master without that parameter and as you can see it's a straight line but if I use and then I switch to develop branch I made these two commits and then I use dash dash f f uh, no dash sorry dash dash no ff and then I pushed it it adds these two commits along with the merge commit that's how it's different from git push and uh, git merge and git merge dash dash no f f 